All right, good afternoon, Mormon Media. My name is DBA X Man. I am with Jasmine and Jocelyn. Uh, Jasmine is with the Momentum of God. And Jocelyn, who are you with? Ellipsis. Ellipsis. Okay. If y'all don't know what ellipsis is, Jocelyn kind of gave me some knowledge on ellipsis is, okay? So ellipsis is basically when you say something, you put a dot, dot, dot. That means you have more to say. So in their work that they're doing at Ellipsis is saying, if you put a dot, 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 that means you have more to do. So their program is set up to do more and say less. Did I say that correct? Uh, yeah, absolutely. We're just random acts of kindness, helping others on the Facebook page and group. It's just positive posts and lifting each other up. All right. So that's what I'm talking yep. about. Okay. So a couple of weeks ago, we just had a really, really uh, traumatic uh, event that happened here in Lawton. Uh, there was an apartment complex that caught fire and a lot of people lost, you know, their belongings and things like that. Uh, Jasmine, can you, you know, I think you were kind of there. Can you rela uh, uh, elaborate on it? Yes. So it's a landing apartment off of D Avenue and there was 23 families uh, displaced due to the fire. It happened last Saturday. Um, and everybody that kind of lived in the apartments has kind of been rehomed. We're still having a couple of people that need places to stay, but basically the whole building is a total loss. There's no way to rebuild the building. There's no way to house them through the other apartments. So we're just asking the community for some help at this time. Okay. How many people you say, uh, lost, were lost in, you know, how many people you say? 23 families in total. Man, 23 families there lost in Fort Seal that we lost in that, you know, in that tragedy of a fire. So um, what can we do as a community to help out these families? I'll let Jocelyn answer that one first and then I'll go next. Okay. Oh, thank you. Um, okay, uh, we have spoke with the apartment manager and um, she is, she has a letter that she has typed up that she's gonna be giving to um, all the victims of the fire. And we are, um, we have a location right now and the, everybody, anybody that has any donations that they want to drop off, they can drop it off at the building across from First Baptist downtown. Um, the building is located at the corner of 6th and B. It is First Baptist building. Um, thank you so much to the pastor there um, for allowing us to, to use that space because we know that people are going to want to donate furniture or mattresses or something because they need everything. I mean, they're, it's a complete loss. I mean, they've lost everything. So um, anyways, we're going to be setting up there and starting tomorrow, people can start uh, bringing donations in. Um, we're probably going to start around either 10 or 12. We don't have an exact time yet, but um, you can call me or Jasmine or um, even First Baptist downtown and they'll be able to, uh, to let people know the exact time. But that's going to start tomorrow when people can drop off donations. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. So they're looking for, what else are you looking for, you know, for donations? Any and everything, basically? Yes, from toiletries, bed sheets. Uh, there was a family with a two-month-old, so ranging from two months to 75 years of age from all size, shapes and sizes. So if you have anything that you think could be useful, shorts, shoes, shirts, you know, um, and some people, like I said, with under underclothing and undergarments, we're asking for, like, maybe a Walmart card to target or something like that a gift card where they can go get their own undergarment but they like she said it was a total loss so anything at this point will help for the family with the two month old we are asking for diapers of all sizes so anybody could drop off diapers wipes, things of that nature okay that sounds wonderful sounds wonderful um who has donated so far to you guys' calls for you know to help out the families in this uh effort We've had a few restaurants actually that have donated. Um, I know Firos has donated, uh, um, Domino's Pizza, they've donated, you know, because these families, they, I mean, they were struggling. And so this will give them something to, um, as far as uh, eating. I know that um, Texas Roadhouse, they're going to be doing um, oh, a fundraiser event where 10% of all proceeds will go to help um, the victims' families. And um, we are in constant contact with other restaurants that we're just waiting to hear back from. So, 
that is so awesome to hear that that the community is coming together to help out you know the victims of this tragic event um mm -hmm. is there anything the hilton garden inn i just found out they're actually um they allowed some families to stay there hilton garden inn i'm not sure if their hotel i just know about this one but i'm sure there's probably other um, oh, families is, are actually in a hotel right now but we have three awesome. families who need a place to live that Great. is really really awesome right there that is so awesome that uh shout outs to the hilton garden that's out there um thank you so very much um Jasmine, what else can we do uh, for those victims? What else, can, I mean, outside of donations, what else can we provide for them? You know, just prayers. Prayers is really the biggest thing that at this time. You know, I know everyone's not spiritual, but just in this, on top of the pandemic, you know, the, everybody's kind of affected by the situation. So they're dealing with the COVID and they're dealing with losing everything and then being displaced during the COVID is hard enough. You know? So just sending prayers, good vibes. Um, and also too, packed wash tub donated to them some wash parts so they can go wash their clothes. So if any other local businesses want to help contribute to that, because whatever they were able to salvage, they could go wash it and kind of, you know, repair it at this point if there was anything to salvage. Mm -hmm. So That's, at this time, we're just asking for prayers and anything that they're willing to give. Man, that is so awesome. That is so awesome. Well, you know what, Jasmine and Jocelyn, we're going to make sure that this message right here gets put out on our Facebook page so that people can understand what's going on and how they can, you know, donate to the cause to help out these families in this time of crisis right now. We got the pandemic going on. We got social injustice going on we got so much stuff going on and now on top of this we have 23 families without a home so this will definitely you know be an eye opener for people to understand that this is a time where we need to come together and to help out our our local community right here this is this is a start this will be a stepping stone right here so again, that drop-off location starting tomorrow is going to be at First Baptist downtown. It's the building um, across the street from the First Baptist um, downtown church. So in the corner of 6th and B. And uh, the associate pastor, um, Tony Christie, thank you so much to him and his congregation for allowing us to use that building. Um, so if, if you get there and the door's locked, just please call um, the number for First Baptist and um, and somebody will come over there. But we are going to be opening it. We just don't know if it's going to be around 10 or 12. So that's oh. it. Thank you. Thank oh, you no so problem. much for having us. Thank you so very much, Jocelyn and Jasmine. Thank you so, so very much. Again, we're going to get this out to the people of Lawton and Fort Seal and let them know that we need your help right now. We Absolutely. Need. Thank you. Thank you so very much. God bless you both. Y'all have a safe day. Keep those masks on. Yes. God bless you too. <laughs> All right. Talk to you later now. All right, All right. Moment Bye. Media. Bye. All right. Moment Media. Y'all heard it. This is DJ X-Man. Hey, help out when help is needed. Okay. God bless.